morning. Hi guys. Um, today is Sunday and I am getting ready to do my little weekly routine for getting ready for the week of homeschool. It was so nice yesterday, you guys. It was the first time we had like super warm weather. Today is cold and rainy and dreary again, but we had such a good time yesterday that I'm not even gonna complain. So I was also able to kind of clear out the studio space and package up orders for our uh, brand reps and ambassadors and send those out finally. So um, now that my space is kind of clear, I'm hoping that we can start to be out in the studio space more this week so that's really exciting and i am just going to sit down play some music and get myself through just checking on my plans for the week um i pretty much have an idea of what i am going to be doing this week but i just wanted to write it down in my weekly planner and i don't know just just make sure I'm nice and ready and on task for this week. I thought I would just pop in again and and uh, and talk to you guys while I do it. <laughs> um, we just got back from church. I am super hungry, but if I stop to make myself something to eat, then this is going to take longer. So I figured I might as well just get this done and then um, eating like lunch and making dinner will be <laughs> my reward because I'm so hungry I'm a seltzer drinker I'm a huge seltzer drinker so I, th I think I kind of drink it instead of coffee it's like bubbly and gets me all like I don't know I got out my weekly planner I'm doing more weekly planning um, on using my planning sheets I normally do that inside of Evernote but I have really been enjoying just kind of like writing them out and writing them down. So that is what I'm doing right now. I have a link to uh, my planning pages just in case you might want to try them and try walking through planning with me on these little Sunday planning videos. That is what I'm working on. So of course we are still in arthropods. We start with Monday and end on Friday, which is actually our free day, but we normally just kind of like throw a bunch of random things that we want to work on on Fridays along with our work day, our work day time. So I'm just going to start with Monday and start with what we're doing for Bible. Bible has been like super simple for us lately. We've just been doing our devotions with the indescribable devotion. Just kind of like taking that time to pray, remind ourselves of the blessings and the things that belong to us, the promises that belong to us. That's what we've been doing um, for Bible. And then we have our verses that we have been going over, um, which is normal as well. Then moving on to language arts. I don't do anything too strict, I just kind of have like a goal of what we are going to be doing, what we're going to be working on. We are still working on, we're going to be working on possessive nouns, so I'm going to use my good and the beautiful section um, for the level three in possessive nouns. We're going to do that a little bit. Yeah, we've been using IXL um, a lot lately and it has been like the best fit i needed something that would give us a little bit more practice like after we finished our lesson from the day um in the good and the beautiful i just needed something just for more reinforcement and so i thought that ixo was going to be perfect for that so i actually reached out to them about their program and they let me try it out um for the year so that was really really exciting and i'm super grateful for that but you guys know that this is all my real um um review of how we're using it and how it's working for us so far the biggest challenge is just making sure that um i i consistently get them on there but it's been amazing because i'm able to just go straight to whatever subject i want them to practice on and they really enjoy like that drilling and i love that it shows me like um how they're doing and gives them rewards and things like that. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more into detail a little later and I'll probably pull the kids in too just so you see that they really do enjoy it. And then Savannah's still doing her pre-K and um, ABC Mouse. So now how we do that, 
I don't know, this might be too much talking, but whatever. Uh, how we do that, how I juggle the two levels, and I'll talk more about how we do the levels because my good and the beautiful curriculum videos, the review videos are coming up soon and I'll give you more insight into how that is going. But how we generally do it is during our language arts time, um, we do a trade off. My boys do language arts together and Savannah does language arts with me separately. So normally what I do is have them do work on the devices. So Savannah will do her work on a device and while she is doing that, then I get time to work with the boys and then vice versa, we switch. Um, and that works out really well. And then that also works the same when I need to have one-on-one -on -one time with one of the boys separately. So we're just gonna continue pushing on with our language arts there. And then for math, what we've been doing, you guys know that we um, alternate on the block schedule with math. So we do math on Tuesday and Thursday. I try to work on addition, subtraction, multiplication, division on Tuesdays. And then on Thursdays, we really put in effort and time into time, money, and measurement. So that's kind of sort of gives you uh, an idea of how we handle math. And then, yeah, I just pull from whatever I want to based on what I know that they're struggling with or they need a little bit more practice in. And we just use all different sorts of things to drive in what we're trying to learn or strengthen our math skills in. I know that sounds all over the place, but that's the best way I can describe it. So after that, then I had my reading section. For the reading section, um, I had on here the one and only Ivan, but we're done with that now, which is exciting. And we have moved on to Charlotte's Web. Um, so we are working on Charlotte's Web right now, and then we work on our library stack so I just pull out all of our library books and they can pick from whatever is there and read and read and read and read and oftentimes they take notes or we just talk about it sometimes we read them together sometimes apart um yeah we just read whatever's in our library stack and sometimes they use um other things then we move on to our unit work for our unit work we are still on lesson I think two so we're gonna do um I'm not sure though. I think I might switch that up a little bit. Um, it depends on how it goes this week. If we're really diligent and we're doing well on time, then I might do both the lesson that we started on and then throw in our butterfly lesson because our butterflies, our um, pupas or a chrysalis, I think they're going to be ready in the next week. So I, I'm going to go ahead and you know, move up a little bit and choose to do the butterfly section of the unit study first and then move back um, to where we left off. And I love that about the good and the beautiful. I'll talk more about that in another video as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and do butterflies. On Monday, we are going to be doing writing. I think we're gonna make a bug book. So I'm gonna go ahead and print that stuff out. Um, what else do I need to do, you guys? We're gonna be doing ancient Egypt in history um, they've been doing their language study in the morning I'm trying to make sure I'm not going against the grain and just go with the flow they love doing it in the mornings they always have and when I kind of took that away and tried to make them do something else in the mornings um, before we start school time it just it didn't work as well but this is like having them do their language study you know first thing when we start our homeschool day has been like 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 such a good transition so i'm just gonna go with that for geography we are doing i so what i do is pull um the geography lessons that are all throughout the good and the beautiful's language arts program i pull that whole section out and create one little resource for us to pull from for geography and then i use whatever portion i would like to use um to help me reinforce what i think you know what we're naturally um, leaning towards in geography so you guys know I have my little passports um, and this I need to get these all um, I printed them lam um, cut them out and laminated them and now I need to actually cut out the laminated parts and we use these as matching with our um, maps book our United States book and um, a little bit of the Good and the Beautiful geography cards. I printed out some more um, story paper because we were running out. 
so I will hole punch these and put them into their binders. Okay guys, so my battery died and I had to wait a while. So I just went and did something else. I edited a video really quickly and now I am back to try to finish this up. The kids are really riled up. We're just gonna try to make this work here. Brian is actually doing dinner for me, which is incredible because that'll really help me to stay on top of things and be ahead of the game for the, for the week to start. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these. I'm going to fill out the rest of my week here. I have my little list of things that I need to do. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna to try to go ahead and get that done, you guys. Get the work boxes filled so that I know exactly what we're kind of working our way through this week. I laid out everything, all of our subjects that we're gonna be covering just so I could visually see what I kind of have ahead of me. This is level um, three for language arts. We are gonna be working again on nouns and verbs. I am still working on getting those um, Good and the Beautiful videos out to you guys so this makes a little bit more sense. But we have worked our way through level three, um, a lot of level three already, but we're going back through it again because I have a different approach that I'm really excited about. So anyway, um, so we're working through nouns and verbs. We're gonna be working on that, the boys and I. We're starting here with geography this week, so we're gonna be working through that. Um, this is our level four. We're gonna be working through lesson two here, and then we're also working on lesson one. We're working on lesson one in the creative companion of level four. This is history. We are working on lesson four here, um, ancient Egypt. So I bookmarked my pages here and here. These are my geography cards that I am printing out the little labels for the states um, to use them in a slightly different way, but you know, anyway. <laughs> um, we are going to be reading Little Red Riding again while we do a little bit of writing this time around and I have and I have our writing paper I just kind of like printed this out really quickly so that we can make a quick little bug story I guess I went through our indescribable devotions book I bookmarked the lessons that I wanted to use and they are all insect and arthropod related so I have bee here butterfly here so I just kind of pick out the devotions that I feel like best fit what we are studying and that's really helpful. I don't always have to do that, um, but I think it's nice, so um, I just bookmarked that there. I have our reader out. For history, we don't really do the read-alouds right now, um, so what we generally do is go through and read the stories inside of the Volume 1 reader and the Volume 2 reader. Um, we don't really have any real rhyme or reason for it. We just read. And then I've got my Charlotte's Web because that's what we have moved on to since we finished up the one and only Ivan. These are the lessons that I'm focusing on for arthropods. Um, just working the rest of the way through this lesson one and two. And then also starting with lesson eight, the butterflies. Because our butterfly should be emerging soon. Another thing I did, I know this seems all over the place, but it's really not. I just have to find a better way to film it, but so I'm sorry. But this is kind of what it is. Um, I went through and bookmarked in our science, our Explore and Experiment and Discover the World of Science Factivity book. And we're going to go back through getting organized as far as like, as far as animal classification is concerned because that goes along with our unit study with the good and the beautiful. There's nothing wrong with a little simplification and reinforcement, so I love doing that. I also bookmarked sorting stuff just for some additional reinforcement and a little activity. Um, life cycles. So this will be nice as we're going through life cycles together. If Savannah wants something a little bit more colorful, um, more of an activity she can do this this is another option we may or may not get these things done because I have plenty of different I just like to have a lot of different options just in case one doesn't work then the other one we can use or just in case they go through one really quickly and they need a little something extra so like I have this life cycles but then I also have this monarch butterfly printable that I found and there's a life cycle behind there so we could do that as well of course there's one inside of the good and the beautiful so we can use that one as well so um, we are going to do that one but like I said I like to have backups just in case 
I'm also going to be um, cutting these out and laminating them so that they are actual cards and labels that we can match up while we complete that part of the lesson. And I'm also just going to go through my little weekly planner and just write it out really quickly. Mainly it's just going to be like bullet points of what I want to make sure that we are going over but this just helps me keep myself in line and it's great because this is then my record that goes into our homeschool portfolio so I will fill these out as well but this is my little gold sticker I got this from Abby from full-time wife life I punched little holes in the side so I could keep them in here and they're just little cute sticky notes that she put in my box and so I just take that out and put it here and I just write out the things that I need to try and get done so I'm about to do these things cut out the state strips I'm select I already selected the devotions so I can check that off selected the devotions already um, I need to write up my week I need to copy cut and laminate my um, butterfly stuff, copy our life cycle page, and write in our vocabulary and our notebooks. So I'm going to get this stuff done now, and then I should be all done and ready for tomorrow. Whew. Normally, I watch um, travel videos <laughs> while I'm doing this, so I can think about all the places we're going to go together as a family, because I'm strange. It's the truth. And now that everything is all bookmarked, I am going to close everything up. And I am pretty much ready, you guys. So this is what mommy is going to be using to uh, move along in the day. I'm almost done cutting these out. And we're gonna use that. Put this back for us to use in the morning. We may also go through these two books. These two books are um, poem books. This unbelievable cricket in the thicket. This is also poems about bugs. So we'll probably use those too. The way our lives are set up, all this rain belongs to us. <laughs> I'm trying not to complain because we had an incredible day yesterday. Anyway, 